I might hit that curb, dude. Now they're stopping. Watch that curb, guys. Did I make it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Good morning guys, Dave back again for another trucking vlog and we are in our Atlanta, Georgia terminal right now. Um, I was just about to leave but this uh, CFI is pulling out as well. And uh, we're going to deliver in Morrow, Georgia which is literally 25 minutes down the road. It's basically Atlanta. So yeah, we're gonna file in behind this CFI and get up out of here and get down to a delivery. It's a little bumpy here so we gotta go slow. Um, I will put a picture up on screen here. If you look there, that is the place we're going to. It looks to be in a big distribution industrial area. No big deal. Um, the docks are on the north side of the building. Shouldn't be hard or difficult at all. Looks pretty simple and straightforward, so I like that. Yeah, we need to go left here. We're not going left. We're, going, we're following them, but I'm going left so then I can swing hard around this way. And then still get out this dang uh, gate. <laughs> you can only do one truck at a time. So I'm going to have to get out and swipe my card as well. Like these guys are doing. Just to get out of the door. Or get out of the gate. Get out of the door. There we go. Now he's going. Now let's make sure I cleared what's on the right of me. <laughs> Yep, we did. And swing her wide. Turn right on International Park oh, yeah. Drive We're Southeast. Clear. There we go. Everybody's going to make Monday morning deliveries, man. man 21 minutes away and 33 minutes to get there we're good we're good <clears throat> yeah I don't come here too often man do not come to Atlanta too often oh we got the turn cam y'all can check it out right now oh we make this little turn out the terminal In one quarter mile, turn right there we go Man, these cars do not care around here about the big truck. They do not. That big old pothole. Oh, boy, I gotta go slow. Because I have to... Ugh, I have to take this wide. But I also didn't want to go through that pothole super freaking hard. Turn cam. There we go. We made it. These, the amount of no parking signs they put every freaking, like, 15 feet. Look at it. <laughs> Jeez. They definitely do not. Well, you can park right here, see? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, my buddy, one of my friends that drives told me when I first started, he was like, don't park on on or off ramps in like Georgia or Tennessee. Like, that's what he was telling me, you know what I mean? He was like, you know, many states you get away with it. But do not do it in Georgia and Tennessee. He said there are a couple of the strictest states on that. Oh, in California too, I heard. So it's actually against CFI policy to park on on and off ramps anyways. So like to take your 10 hour break and stuff. All right, we got to take this exit, Moro, Jonesboro. Jonesboro. We are five minutes away right now, so it must be right off of this exit somewhere. Not too many people coming this way. Turn right on Georgia 54 South, then turn right. Okay. Man, look, while I'm getting unloaded, I can go buy a Harley and go ride it around. 
<laughs> I just bought a motorcycle, man. If y'all seen my community post, you know I just bought a motorcycle. Let's hang out right here in this. I almost got over to that right lane, and then I was like, nope, let me hang out in this second turn lane. Well, there ain't too many cars. They should all pass by the time I get through this, and then I can get over to the right to take my right. Dang, it's uh, pretty tight, man. nobody there I'm gonna take my right when I can man <laughs> they were all behind me and I'm like yeah okay if nobody's gonna be there I'm gonna get over into the right lane while I got the opportunity because this next light up here is where I have to take this right about a quarter mile almost five dollar everyday specials Jamaican flavor Turn right at the traffic light. <laughs> that's what it's called sweet Jamaica flavor Oh, let me get some of that, uh, let me get some of that curry goat. Let me get some of that. I like that stuff, man. It's like my favorite thing to eat at a Jamaican restaurant. Don't at me. Told y'all I'm a cultural foods guy, man. I eat a little bit of everything. Oh, there we go. Turn cam. That was pretty. That was actually very pretty right there. All right, and then we gotta go left, so on to Kelly Avenue, and then we're almost there. Light. All right, take a left at this traffic light, and then it's gonna be right up the way, man, right up the way. Good thing is, coming in this direction, the, the building's gonna end up being on our left, which means we're gonna turn into their parking lot with our driver's side toward the docks for backing site side, you know what I mean? Whereas if I was coming the other way and the building was on my right and I turned in there, then I'm looking at blind side. So I like that I'm coming in this way. And I already checked that out. If that, if that was not the case, I would have changed my route to be uh, coming in the other way if possible, so. See, I do a little bit of planning, man. I might not be as, uh... In one quarter mile, turn right on Commerce Road. I might not be as, uh, in-depth as some guys, but I, I do a little bit of planning. I do a little bit. Just a little bit. So far, pretty easy. Nothing too crazy. That's why I got to the terminal early. I, I did that on purpose. I was like, I want to get through Atlanta and get to our terminal, which is south of Atlanta. And then this place is south of Atlanta as well. So then I beat that rush hour traffic and I'm not going through Atlanta. Oh, come on, man. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to take up a little bit more room. I probably didn't need too much extra because... Uh, turn cam that's why I see that's why I was trying to set up a little bit wider y'all see how close that was I, I kind of realized it was going to be that way but that truck was coming in it's a place right here look how easy that looks man that ain't squat it ain't gonna be squat well there's some cars around everywhere can I turn in the second wait Arriving yeah we'll just turn in here one commerce drive on the left. well unless they put you in one of these right here actually it is kind of tight up front on this side if they put you down there it's easy this side is a little bit of tight though. I won't lie. It's a little tight. Not too bad though. Nothing I can't handle. I think I can do it. Where the heck do I sit around here without blocking somebody? <laughs> I don't even know. That might be the check-in office, maybe. So I'm gonna go sit myself right over here. All right, boys, there's some guys out there smoking. Oh, it says shipping is receiving right there, but I don't know which building it is. I'll have to look at the name and stuff. I'll be back with y'all in a minute. All right, guys, we are backing into door seven right over there. Those guys that were sitting out there uh, smoking were uh, 
came up and helped me. It's 6.55. I'm sorry, it's 7.55 right now because we're on Eastern. My computer shows Central. Anyways, um, yeah, so like I told you, my appointment was 8. I literally showed up here like 10 minutes early. I just opened my doors and everything because they told me I could break the seal and open them. Anyways, I showed up here like 10 minutes early, and he was like, go ahead and back in there, and at 8 o'clock, we'll start unloading you. I was like, okay, thanks. So, easy enough. And this is actually an easier dock than up there. Up there had a lot less room because of the cars and stuff and the curb. This curb's actually, uh, this is gonna be a lot easier. It really is, I think. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, dock number seven right there. So we're gonna have to alley dock this. I can't, if that trailer wasn't there, I could straight back it. It'd be a kind of a weird straight back, honestly. That's not going to work. That ain't going to work. Uh, damn it, man. This is going to give me some issues. I can already tell just because of how I set up. I set up bad. <laughs> so, yeah. I set up bad on this one. And I know that I did. No, this isn't going to work. This isn't, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Tell you what we're gonna do here. Tell you what we're gonna do. We are gonna reset up actually. <clears throat> oh, maybe I can, maybe I can get it like this. I knew this was gonna give me trouble when I saw my setup. I was like, I didn't set up good for this, boys. I know I didn't. Now I think I got it, boys. Come on. Well, we finagled it. <laughs> we finagled it. I got to fix again. I got it now, though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. See what I'm saying? It really took some uh, finagling from me, that's for sure. One more pull up now because we're a little bit off. Pull it just a hair to the right, Dave. Now back to the middle. There we go. Now straight back, and it's a straight back. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just a bad setup on my part. I shouldn't have started in by that trailer. I should have just went next to the trailer and then turned up and left and did a normal alley dog. I knew the moment I set up, I was like, it's over with. This is on a hill. God bless it. Oh, come on, you stupid truck. <sighs> this pisses me off. This this freaking stupid ass automatic shaking ass truck just cuz I'm I'm just easy I'm just easing off of the brake, guys. I'm easing off the brake. That's all I'm doing is I'm just easing. E I'm easing. Easing off the brake. Easing off and guess what? Nothing happens. And then it just suddenly whoa, let's freaking go freaking stupid um, I hate I hate this truck I hate I hate this truck I'm just gonna go ahead and say it I hate this truck I want to drive something else <sighs> see it's I'm rolling forward because I can't get to the dock I'm gonna either slam into this dock or I'm gonna you know it's just it's gonna it's stupid man it's stupid 
I'm gonna slam into this dock because it's the only choice I have to even get into the damn thing. as bad as what I thought it would be. <sighs> well, this was more eventful than what I thought it would have been. <laughs> oh, Lord. A lot of y'all that have, uh, a lot of y'all that drive Volvos have been commending how good the Volvo is with uh, backing. Um, automatic Volvos, obviously. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I did go to a freaking Volvo or whatever, a future company, whatever, that I went to with a, a Volvo, if I couldn't get a manual, then I'm going to try to go somewhere with a freaking automatic Volvo that can actually freaking back. Because this is dumb. This it just, 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 just makes me, it makes me angry. It really does. It makes me, every time this happens and, and the dock is on a hill and it's uphill and I'm fighting it. It's like, you know, you're either going to slam into the dock and look like an idiot. Or you're going to sit here for five minutes trying to inch the thing into there and, and look like an idiot. No matter what, you're going to look like an idiot when you're back in this thing. And there ain't no fixing. I don't, I don't know. Actually, okay. Okay, let me say this. Somebody did say uh, from CFI that the shop can help with it. Like, if it, it it's, it's, it's a known issue. A lot of people have this issue. I just thought it's just how the truck was, right? But somebody did say, talk to the shop. They can actually make it less jumpy for you. They can tune it somehow. So, I need to do that. I need to get into Joplin. Um, I was just in Joplin not long ago, but I forgot. I didn't think about it. But I need to have the shop make this thing back smoother. Whatever they do to do that. And uh, yeah, I got the red light. They're, they're loading up. There we go. Go ahead and pull my, uh, my red. So I need to get in the shop and see if they can do that and help with this backing situation. Because trust me, at this point, it's not me. I would have learned it by now if I'm doing the wrong thing. It's the truck. I'm telling you, it's the truck. It, there's, I've tried everything. I've tried using both pedals. I've tried just the brake. I've tried being smooth. I've tried being light. It, 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 it has a mind of its own, man. When you're backing and it's a slight incline, it's terrible. Um, hell, even sometimes when it's flat, it has problems too. Not even lying. It's not always just have to be an incline, but the incline is the worst. Uh, so yeah, it's terrible. I couldn't imagine if there was ever a dock that like is like a really steep incline or something that I had to back into. Like it'd be all jacked up, man. <laughs> oh shoot, it's funny. Anyways, guys, yeah, I'm getting unloaded, so I'm gonna let y'all go, and I'll be back with you when we get up out of here. All right, boys, they had me done and out of there in literally like 15 minutes. They had me unloaded, and that, that load went to the back of the trailer, too. And they had me unloaded, man. So, yeah, that was pretty quick. I like places like this. Now, like I said, I don't have another load. Um, we're 20 minutes away from a pilot, which is where we're going to go. And uh, we're good. We are good take up this whole road here make sure we clear that curb you guys see it on the turn cam yep y'all see it on the turn cam pretty good what all right we're gonna take this left right here on the, on the kelly avenue and yeah i do have home time oh go ahead car go ahead oh hell All right, there we go. <laughs> One car makes us wait five more minutes. You know how it works. Oh, we got a school zone flashing here, I think. Oh, no, it's not school zone. That's do not block. Do not block intersection. Uh, I guess this backs up sometimes at the light. I don't want you blocking that mess. We got to take a right here at the light, though, anyways. Get a little more turn cam action for y'all. Everybody loves turn. turn I should just... Traffic light. I should just I should just call it the mirror cam because 
I don't just use it for turns. I use it for just showing you guys anything that could be on the right side of my truck. Oh, state law, stop for pedestrian and crosswalk, no bueno. Are these guys stopping? Nope, they're not. I might hit that curb, dude. Now they're stopping. Watch that curb, guys. Did I make it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Whew, that was a tight one. I gotta keep left in 0 0.3. Onto what? I'm gonna hold this middle lane for a minute. There ain't nobody around me. Good. Okay, it's saying to be in these two lanes here. Okay. Yeah, I see where it splits here, so. Okay, cool. We good, we good, we good. All right, guys, we taking this exit right here. This is actually, this pilot is on the same road that our uh, terminal is. See, there's a CFI right there. So, maybe I just go to the terminal. Terminals will have free showers. Maybe I should do that. Ooh, are we gonna make this light? Cause this light's pretty long. Uh, probably not now because somebody stopped to give a panhandler some money so now we're all stuck oh hell come on dave come on oh come on truck come on truck come on truck let's go let's go let's go let's go it's so bumpy here it's so bumpy i have to slow down all right come on we barely made it around that corner but we did Woo. Might need a little more room. Let him go ahead and take it. There we go. <clears throat> okay, that's exit. This sign also says exit only. Guy, you know this place is usually busy all the time with uh, trucks considering it's basically Atlanta. <laughs> There might not be no parking up in here. I don't know. I might have to go to the terminal. Shoot. Oh, hell. Dude, there ain't gonna be no parking up in here, boys. Look, even Bobtail's still chilling. This pilot probably stays full, dude. That might be a spot, or there could be a bobtail. I don't know. Um, yep, bobtails. Uh-uh. I ain't even getting up in this mess. Oh, man, I'm stuck. I'm going to the terminal. It's literally a minute up the road, but I wanted to check the pilot because I thought maybe I'd get some food from the pilot or something, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did the wrong thing, boys. I did the wrong thing. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape. To the great unknown.